Primary day is tomorrow, and elections officials have identified hundreds of mail-in ballots that are in danger of not being counted. They compiled a list, but time is now running out. Our Jasmine Payute is live at City Hall with important information for voters. Jasmine. Good morning, Jan. This primary race is expected to be a close one, which means every vote counts. And now city commissioners say about 800 mail-in vote ballots are at risk of not being counted, but now the window is open to correct those issues. So here's the problem and what we're told is happening. City commissioners say the main issue is that many of these ballots are unable to verify proof of identification. In other cases, ballots contained other errors. Some of those include no signature on the exterior envelope, no date on the exterior envelope, potentially incorrect date on the envelope, and no secrecy envelope, a.k.a. a naked ballot. Now, 800 may not sound like a lot of ballots, but in a Democratic primary that could come down to just a few votes, this could make a big difference. We pulled some new data from Pennsylvania's official voter information website. It shows that more than 95,000 Philadelphia voters requested mail-in ballots. But as of Friday, just about half have been returned. Now, what's happening today? The city is strongly advising voters on that list to request a replacement ballot at the City Board of Elections office in City Hall, room 140, today from 9 o'clock to 5 o'clock this evening, or on Election Day from 9 a.m. to 7.30 that evening. Now, voters unable to travel because of a disability can have someone pick up their ballot and drop it off. That's called a designated agent. The voters have until Monday, May 22nd, to have those issues corrected or that ballot will not be counted. If you want to know if you are on that list, you can head to our website, CBS News Philadelphia, where you will find that link that will take you there. Jan, I'll send it back to you in the studio. Important information. Okay, Jasmine, thanks so much for the update. If you still need to drop off your ballot, you can bring it to Lincoln Financial Field today. There will be a ballot box in the K lot there. Registered voters can drop off their ballots from 11 this morning until 2 in the afternoon. You will even be greeted by Eagles cheerleaders and the one and only swoop. Stay with CBS News Philadelphia for our continuing coverage throughout tomorrow's primary election, including the race for Philadelphia mayor. You can always get the latest information on our streaming service and on our website, cbsnewsphiladelphia.com.